okay then so go ahead and create a project folder and open it up in your code editor I already did that I'm with the necessary CSS file and we're having the index.html file and I already started our live server oh so far nothing is there that's why it's showing nothing let me create our document and here I'm going to name it as border animation let me link my HTML sorry CSS file dot slash styles dot CSS okay so now everything is loaded over here all we have to do create an empty div inside your body tag then for all the element we are removing the margin and padding as zero and border box uh, not this box sizing border box okay for the body tag what I'm going to do is I'm fixing the minimum height as 100 bh and I'm going to give a background color as 181818 so look at that we have some background color over there then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create write a style for the division what we created with 200 pixel height 200 pixels and let's say we'll give some background color for now okay it's in the top left I need it exactly in the middle so I'm going to bring it up by using flexbox display flex justify content center and then align item center so that will bring both horizontal and vertically your division exactly in the center then I'm going to add some shadow effects box shadow uh, let's say 16 pixels in x-axis and 14 pixels in y-axis and 20 pixels blur effect RGBA 0001 there we go we have that shadow effect over there so I don't need this color anymore let me remove it cool then what we need to do we need to reduce the sharp edges border radius let's say 10 pixels okay now we reduce that border after this what we need to do is we need to make this position as a relative position because why we are making its relative position is we are going to add a before and a after pseudo element for this division if you fail to make it as a position relative it will take the parent element as the body tag so the division after and before element should not refer to the body tag it should always refer to its parent elements element as the division okay now let's create the division before element first before okay absolutely we don't need any content inside so content nothing then position as an absolute position only absolute okay where this going to take hundred percentage height also 100 percentage that means its parent element height okay then I'm going to add some background um, linear gradient so I'm going to use the background image in the background image you can see we have the conic 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 gradient conic gradient open it C O N I C C O N I C don't mis misspell it C O N I C hyphen gradient okay so first I'm going to give like a very specific color like double F double zero double zero okay cool then it should be 20 degree and another one is transparent transparent and that's going to be 120 degree and now you can see that we have this that gradient effect over here cool then what we have to do is after this um, we I think we done with the we pretty done with the mm, before okay so now let's go for the after element so we have to create div colon after open it so in the after what we are going to do is we are going to create an exact square right over the top of it so this is the content is going to have as a term animation animation on it and weight I'm going to make it as 190 pixels height I'm going to make it as 190 pixels and after this I'm going to give the background color as background as hash 101010 save the changes 
okay so it's still taking the width like this only because why oh, okay position absolute there we go now you can see that it's having the nice box shape over there but we'll reduce the border radius to 10 pixels just like as it is okay we need to bring it exactly center so what i need to do is i will mm, i like the styles over here display flex justify content center align the item center boom that brings your content exactly to the center of it i think it's overflowing so what we need to do is to this division we will add the overflow as hidden overflow hidden why i'm saying is because see the short you can see there's still that sharp edge because it's overflowing so overflow hidden now you can't see that overflow okay so now it's pretty done then what i need to do um i need to bring this text also in the center so let me copy it from here and paste it over here now my text is exactly in the center so if i give the colors you can see that okay then font size i'm just going to use the defaults as a larger it's still small x large okay i'm good with that then i need to increase the letter spacing a little bit so letter spacing two pixels okay two pixels that's enough okay then what we need to do is we need to um add some shadow effect but this time we are not going to add a shadow outside we are going to add a shadow inside of it so box shadow inset so inset is an element it helps you to uh, redirect the shadow effect to an inside of an object inset and i'm going to give 20 pixels 20 pixels 20 pixels x axis y axis and the blur effect okay here you need to give the color code okay i'm going to use the same color code what i used over there rgba okay now we can see that it's having that nice inset shadow effect over there i think it's pretty good now right then all we have to do is just to animate it what we need to do we need to animate it i'm going to write the animation for the before because we here only we having that animation thing so we need to write this animation thing for that okay and now what we have to do is let's say um, right after he oh not there here animation animation and i need to name an animation for it so let me name it as rotate because that's appropriate because anyway we are going to rotate it right so rotate and mm, how many seconds you want to rotate it that's you need to fix that uh, i need to rotate it for let's say one second one no not one let's say two seconds and linear and it should run for several number of times infinite continually it should keep on running okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the keyframes at keyframes frames identifier this is our identifier rotate from the zero percentage it should transform rotate from zero degree to 100 percentage it should transform rotate 360 degree now you can see that it's rotating like this now what we have to do is you need to rotate it in a reverse direction minus 360 degree okay cool so we can solve this so what you need to do is just increase this percentage level 150 to 150 and now you can see that it gives you a clear animation effect i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video leave a like and if you have any doubts leave your doubts in the comment box i'll reply you to back and have a great day guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care